Those relationship between art and territory is visible in the exquisite architecture which appears to visitors in a wide variety of buildings of different eras and styles. Treglia Palace is the essence of the 16th through 18th century architecture and is characterized by a large arch decorated with palmet and flowers and by the adjacent oratory of St. Michael where you can find a prized statue of the saint. The Porto of Veris Palace is a rococo style, elegantly sculpted in the 18th century by the refined hand of the stone cutter Emanuele Orfano from Alessano. Walking through the historical center, one will notice the care and attention paid to the protection and promotion of cultural heritage. Here it is possible to immerse oneself in history and tradition, landing squarely in the center of the region's Greek heritage. Some Renaissance buildings, decorated with restrained elegance and ingenuity, stand near St. George's Square. It is highly likely that, in the past, these buildings were used as workshops. The square, situated on the peripheral side of the historical center, has for centuries been the pulsing heart of the local economy. Typical perimeter porticos enclose the square. They are an example of the 16th century mercantile architecture, restored over the centuries with various improvements and renovations. The construction of the square was commissioned by the humanist Niccolò Mariorano from Melpignano in order to host and organize the activities of merchants who drove the town's economy. In the past, traders came from all over the Italian peninsula, in particular from Naples, Bari and Lecce, to sell fabrics of different types, such as silk or wool, in this square. The facade of the town's principal church dedicated to St. George and built in the first half of the 15th century, dominates the architectural landscape. This building has undergone many modifications and changes through the centuries. It represents a synthesis of different artistic styles, which range from the Renaissance period to that of the end of the 18th century. At the center of the unit of the 16th century portal, one finds the Holy Knight George intent on attacking a dragon, the symbol of evil. The interior of the church has three names inside altars. Looking at the decorations, one notices several renovations carried out in the 18th century. Next to the parish church, there's the lovely church of the Madonna of the Assumption, formerly dedicated to the saints Rocco and Sebastian. The chapel is adorned by the gracious portal sculpted by the master Placido Buffelli from Alessano. <laughs>